What's up guys, Slick here from the WGN Xbox YouTube channel with a bit of a unique video today. Normally I'm more of a triumph kind of guy, but my friends and I noticed that sniping feels really off this season of PvP, especially when it comes to hit registration. I was pretty nasty with the sniper, uh, as you can see from these opening clips here from last season, uh, but ever since the Beyond Light patch came out, that kind of changed some things up with aim assist. I've been having trouble finding a sniper that feels really good. Uh, so naturally, like every good scientist, I decided to boot up a private match uh, and test some things out. The first thing we tested was the hitbox for snipers. Um, and by the way, for all these tests you'll see in these clips, I'm running targeting adjusters as well as whatever helmet targeting perk I have uh, for the particular weapon. Um, and obviously this is done on Xbox as well, in case you can tell from the YouTube channel name. Um, but anyways, uh, as we're going through each of these snipers, um, you kind of can tell that there's no room for error on the hitbox. Um, in fact, it doesn't really seem like there's any aim assist at all, right? Our bullet's not being pulled to the target, um, even that we're aiming literally centimeters away uh, from the player. And uh, kind of, I'll show you the specific stats for each of these weapons, but it didn't seem like there was a difference in feel regardless of zoom level, regardless of the aim assist stat, um, whatever. I tested a lot more snipers than what you kind of see on screen. Um, and basically they all did the exact same thing, right? No matter how close I was to the enemy, if I wasn't, if my cursor was not physically over the, the forehead of the player, I wasn't getting that headshot that I needed. And supposedly from the recent patch, higher zoom snipers got a buffed aim assist while low zoom snipers got a nerf. Um, but I really didn't notice our change. So we kind of ask ourselves, what does aim assist really do? And the hypothesis was that aim assist kind of helped you drag your aim onto a target. Uh, but that clearly isn't the case. As you can see my buddy running across the screen, my cursor doesn't move at all, regardless of what the zoom level is. And it turns out that the aim assist only helps you hold your aim on target. When I pass my scope over an enemy player, the aim slows down significantly. And for a stationary target, this isn't really that useful, right? But when both of you are moving, both you and the target, uh, this can help keep your cursor on target. Uh, but for the purposes of sniping, that's kind of a negligible benefit. You'll be in a gunfight, being shot at, and you probably won't have very long duration to line up your shot, um, even though both of you are moving. So uh, I don't really consider the aim assist for the snipers here, if we want to even consider this aim assist um, to be practical. So now that we kind of know that aim assist wasn't about like dragging on a moving target or things like that, um, we wanted to see if the aim assist, you know, worked for these other weapons and if these other weapons were getting some sort of help from the game. Um, and it turns out they were. And every single weapon type aside from snipers has this phenomenon happen. And I kind of call it bullet magnetism here, um, where I'm shooting clearly away from my target, uh, but the bullet's being pulled onto the target's head anyways. And so this happens uh, incredibly, you know, frequently and with some consistency with the hand cannons. Um, you know, a weapon that's supposed to be a precision weapon doesn't really require all that much precision to be, you know, incredibly effective with it, uh, which is obviously problematic, you know, for competitive purposes. Um, but r really, it just shows here how much help these hand cannons have uh, compared to the snipers do. And, you know, like, like you can see from all these tests, uh, you can shoot, you know, left, right, above the head, you know, however far away you really want, and, and you're still getting headshots with them. Um, and the same obviously applies to body shots, but really what we're interested in is in the head. Auto rifles behave similarly, uh, though we had a bit of trouble sorting out the difference between the accuracy cones um, and the aim assist cones, right? Obviously with like a scatter weapon, like an auto rifle, you're not always hitting perfectly on the reticle. Um, but I will assure you that the bullet magnetism here is a result of the aim assist. Um, you can kind of see when we show the summoner here that when no player is standing in front of me, um, my bullets are consistently hitting where the reticle is looking at, uh, at least with reasonable accuracy. And then as soon as somebody starts to step into frame, you can kind of see the bullets start to shade towards the player. And uh, that's a result of that of the aim assist. Now, obviously the width isn't quite as generous as with the hand cannons, right? I, I can't shoot an entire length uh, away of a person, um, but it's still substantial, right? If you consider like an auto rifle gun fight where you're putting out lots of rounds quickly, you know, in that, uh, in that process of dragging my cursor onto the actual head of the player, you know, I'm stealing like three or four bullets maybe and, and getting headshots, which can make a huge difference in the gunfight. We also tested out scout rifles and Astrocross Gaming kind of made a video about, about this with the new patch, uh, but they got a 15% increase to aim assist. Um, now what that specifically means, you know, it's kind of a bit unclear, but uh, you, we're still getting that bullet magnetism effect. Um, and actually, the further away you get, uh, the more help you seem to be getting. Uh, you can see it right there. I'm, I'm aiming on like the opposite side of the box with the Jade Rabbit, and I actually got a headshot. Um, now, again, it's not quite as obvious as the as the hand cannon, but even here with the Randys, right, I'm still hitting those kind of ridiculous shots. The last thing we tested out was Arbalist, um, which indeed is still unbelievably good aim assist, especially on console. I've never played PC, so I can't really speak to that. Um, but, you know, this weapon was just unbelievable. We tested out some other uh, weapon types. 
Um, kind of the, the one outlier to our tests was burst weapons. Uh, the recoil tends to throw off the aim assist partway through the burst, so unless you're actively resetting, recentering the reticle uh, during the burst, the entire burst isn't tracking to the head, um, but certainly in all circumstances, the first shot was. So what are our conclusions from these tests? Well, I, I kind of sum up into two basic things. Uh, number one, snipers have no aim assist at all, which I believe to be a bug, just kind of based on the, the phrasing and the patch notes. It seemed like they wanted snipers to have at least some aim assist, especially those higher zoom ones. Um, and kind of the second conclusion is that hand cannons have a very sizable amount of aim assist, um, and they're obviously going to be meta this season in case you haven't figured that out already. My hope for this video is really just so that Bungie kind of addresses some aim assist, although you know it's kind of far reaching, um, but we wish to know how aim assist works a little bit more in depth. And also maybe snipers should get a little bit more help. Um, I know that a lot of PC folk had issues with how easy it was to snipe. And I think the same thing was true on console, although to a slightly lesser degree. Um, I think a patch that kind of meets in the middle of the current state of snipers and last seasons uh, will really just be for everyone's benefit. So coming to the end here, uh, if you found this video useful, please drop a sub or a like, so that way I know whether this kind of content is helpful in the future. Otherwise, expect some triumph guides for the raid challenges in the near future once they release, and also looking at some other triumphs that might be cool to showcase in the meantime. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me in this video, and as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.